I am sharing a super simple protein cookie recipe today. Um, only four ingredients are needed. Um, a protein powder of your choice. I will be using BMI Whey Isolate Totally Protein in Vanilla Peanut Butter Flavor. Half a cup of creamy or crunchy peanut butter. It's um, up to you. And we have a fourth of a cup of uh, dark chocolate chip or semi-sweet chocolate chip. And two whole eggs. And two scoops of the protein powder of your choice. And again, I am using VMI Sports Vanilla Peanut Butter Protein. All right, so we're going to start with two scoops of the protein powder of your choice. And here I am using a vanilla peanut butter flavored VMI Whey Isolate Protoly Protein. Next, I am going to add in um, two whole eggs. Go ahead and stir everything together and make sure that it's mixed in well. This looks perfect. Next, I am going to add in the um, creamy peanut butter. I actually have a all natural creamy, it's actually um, crunchy I think. Yes, I have a crunchy peanut butter here. Um, you know, this here, it's optional. You can use peanut butter, you can use almond butter, cashew butter, or even pecan butter. There's so many options out there um, nowadays. And, you know, if you are um, allergic to peanuts, then maybe find a different type of nut butter to better suit your needs. But we're going to go ahead and mix this in. It's getting nice and thick and batter-like consistency which is exactly what we want um, I really love this recipe because it's super simple just four ingredients and mix it together and bake it in the oven for 8 to 12 minutes and it's ready to serve so the last thing that we're going to add um, is the dark chocolate chips so I have a fourth of a cup here um, you know if you're adventurous of course you can add more ingredients to the cookies you can add um, raisins you can add nuts you know there's so many opportunities here to get creative with creating these protein cookies but i am just doing a very simple very basic um recipe here and you are definitely more than welcome to um you know add more to it and get creative the next thing i'm going to do is to scoop up the batter Okay, so I've scooped out my batter and formed it into one piece like this. And I'm going to split it evenly so that I can make my cookies the same sizes. Of course, um, we can just eyeball this part. They don't have to be perfectly um, the same size. So, so I'm going to split this down the middle first. So that is in half. Oops, kind of and then half the other half and then half the other half Ooh. half 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 and half so out of the ingredients we've used we're going to make eight cookies the next thing i'm going to do is roll out my cookies into round little balls and place them on a baking sheet. Um, always make sure to spray your baking sheet with um, some type of oil. I just use Pam olive spray and it works perfectly. How would you like it smelly? They smell delicious. The peanut butter. The last thing we need to do before putting it into the oven is to press it down so that it looks like um, a little cookie. As you can see, sometimes um, the fork will stick to the batter. I just I like to pour out a little bit of protein powder there, and I'm using my VMI um, Protolite again, same flavor, uh, vanilla peanut butter, and I'm going to just simply let me show you. I'm going to dip my fork in this before pressing down on the batter. So. Now it's not sticking so much. And I like to do a cross section. So press it down one more time on all of them. Yes. 
and they're ready to go into the oven.